Hi everyone. Today I wanted to do a quick demonstration of free fall. What we have here is a plexiglass tube. Uh, and inside it, you can sort of see there is a little feather that's been painted green and a coin. And under most circumstances, we would flip this over and the coin would fall down and then the feather would gently drift down. What we, of course, in physics have set up a wonderful scenario. This particular tube is operating under vacuum. So we are able to actually see this uh, interacting in free fall under uh, the wonderful assumption we always like to make, which is there is no air resistance. It has a little pivot, and so what I can do is I can flip the tube around, and you'll notice that under vacuum, the coin and the feather happily just fall down all the way together. We can flip back the other way. Coin's got a bit of a bounce and everything. And so this is showing that even though these objects have very different masses near the surface of the Earth, neglecting air resistance, they all fall with a common acceleration. It's just the coin's a little bouncier. So both objects will fall down at the same time. Air resistance makes this a horrible thing. If we go over here, we can actually take the vacuum out, or more to the point, let the air go back into the system. You can hear the whoosh as it goes uh, back under pressure. Wait for it to stop hissing for a bit. And then we restore to the normal circumstances that we find here near the surface of the Earth, namely that the feather gently drifts down and the coin falls all the way to the bottom.